from KOAT Action 7 News. This is breaking news. Good morning, I'm Ron Burke, and this is breaking news we've been following throughout the morning. A hot air balloon crash has killed at least four people. The FAA telling us it was a Cameron 0120 hot air balloon. Stella's son is there live a mile south of that crash site. Good morning, Stella. Hey Ron, we are learning new details about this hot air balloon crash that happened just around 7 a.m. I'm going to step out of the shot so you can take a closer look. We are here on Havelina Road Southwest. KOET has the exclusive access to the neighbor's backyard. You can see what appears to be the envelope of the hot air balloon. There's yellows, blues, and reds, primary colors here. We see that Albuquerque police is on scene right now along with the FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration. We are learning that the NTSB or the National Transportation Safety Board, they are on their way to this home right now and they are conducting the investigation. So we just got new details from Albuquerque police and they say that just after 7 a.m. police and Albuquerque Fire Rescue, they were called to Central and Unser. Now this is by the CVS Pharmacy and those reports were for a call of a balloon incident. We are learning that the gondola caught fire after hitting the power line and it eventually crashed onto the road on Unser. Now we have learned that four people have tragically passed from this hot air balloon incident and that one man has been taken to the hospital with severe injuries to the people who are dead. They are men and the other two are female. We are sending condolences to the family members impacted. Now we do know that the male, uh, one of the males was the pilot of the hot air balloon and the age ranges for the victims are anywhere between the ages of 40 and 60. We do also have Sky 7 in the air, so you can see some aerial shots as well. Now we are again on Havelina Road Southwest, and I spoke with the homeowner, and of course we have the exclusive access to be in her backyard right now. She says that this morning she woke up and she saw her neighbor's backyard roof covered with the envelope of the balloon. We do see that Albuquerque police is here on scene, as well as the FAA and the NTSB, the safety board that will be doing this investigation is also on their way. Again, on the west side in Albuquerque, this is very common. We also see a lot of those hot air balloons flying in the morning. We are sending condolences to the family members impacted by this tragic incident. We'll be here trying to get more details for you guys. But for right now, we're reporting live here in Albuquerque. I'm Stella Sun, KOET Action 7 News. Back to you. Thank you, Stella. Governor Lujan Grisham tweeting about this this morning saying, I'm incredibly saddened to hear of this terrible tragedy in Albuquerque. My prayers are with the loved ones of those affected as this incident, obviously garnering a lot of attention, not just locally, but statewide as well. The Albuquerque Aerostat Ascension Association, a community ballooning organization, posted a statement to Facebook that reads, we are a community not by choice, but by circumstances. We reach out to each other in love and understanding with tolerance and patience. We are a community. Please send prayers and support for a member of our community and those involved. Now, as a way of giving some background, here's a quick description of the different parts of a balloon and how they work. The gondola is the basket, usually made of wicker, and that's where the passengers ride in the balloon. They can hold anywhere from one passenger to more than 10. The envelope is the actual balloon itself, usually made of nylon or polyester. The uh, burner is a propane-powered flame just above the basket, and the pilot uses that to put heat in the balloon, which is what makes it rise into the air. We'll continue to follow this breaking news for you throughout the day. For now, we send you back to regular programming.